As you can see, we have some of your Rinna wines here, we and sure we did do. open up one of them. So I love wanna, it. Let's if have you want to pop it and try some. Jeez, oh, I'm always nervous to pop these. Me too. These. I'm, I'm going to make you do it. Oh, God. <laughs> My own wine. I'm even nervous to pop it. I can't even. Shoot it at Justin. Okay. <laughs> So this, this is, is the rosé. Okay, so this is Rena Rosé. So this is Rena Rosé. And it's sparkling. And it's sparkling. And then this is Rena Brut, so it's like a Chardonnay. Okay. Basically. So it's white Love. and rosé. And made in Provence, France. Yes. Because you know that's where we did the show. That was the trip. The infamous Provence that trip. That was the infamous Provence trip. And we literally made rosé yeah. with the sommelier. And I got up and sold it like I would on QVC. Of course. And then the girls were like, you should do a Rinna Rosé. It even sounds so great. And I was like, that's a great idea. So obviously it's Valentine's Day. Yep. Tell me about another occasion we can pop this. When is the well, best time to drink this? Well, here's the thing. I wanted to make a wine that you could pop every day. Totally. Not fancy, joy, celebration in a bottle. As Pamela Anderson says, you know, you can make every day romantic. Why can't we live a romantic life every day? Well, you could, and, and you can. This and is it. Listen, open a bottle of this, you don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> and, by the way, one glass of this, you're feeling good. Yeah. You have a nice buzz on. Now, what are you doing for Valentine's Day? I, we have, for the last few years, when the girls want to, especially growing up, we would have Valentine's Day with them. And we would I take them that. to California Pizza Kitchen. That's where they would want to go. <laughs> and so Relatable. tonight we're not going to California Pizza Kitchen, but we're taking Amelia and one of her childhood friends who's now moved to New York, who we grew up with. Yeah. She grew up at our house. We're taking them to dinner. Obviously, we talked about Harry's sauce off camera. We did. But we went ahead and bought a very cheap, very probably overrated sauce. Um, Which we nothing, all have eaten plenty in our lives. Of course. <laughs> nothing compares to Harry's sauce. I, I don't even need to try it to know. Well, So we, we put our little label on it. I love it. But I have to ask, when yes. are we going to see a Harry's sauce on the market? Well, we're working on it. Food is a little more difficult than you would think. Yes. It's a harder market to get into, but we're working on it because you know right now Harry makes his sauce with homegrown tomatoes from our garden. Right as we've seen. So you know it 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 needs to have we need a real good brand to partner with and we're gonna find it because the people want it. The people want Harry's people, bolognese. People do want Harry's they sauce. They do. They want it. So for the record. You know me. I'm gonna make that happen because <laughs> I like to sell things. So obviously your brand is one that's so distinctive. And I've always wanted to ask you this. I've always said, truly ask Justin, if we ever have Lisa Rana in the office, yeah. I'm going to ask her, when did you coin your hairstyle? Okay. Her story. Herstory, this is the herstory of it. Um, <laughs> herstory. And it goes way back. Okay. Longer than Brandy said it does. So. Yes. That's what's even funnier. Yeah. You know, the 20 years was like nothing. Um, okay, this is what happened. I was in acting class, in Howard Fine's acting class, and I had long hair down to here. Yeah. And I had been in a relationship that was not great. Okay. And that relationship ended, and I was sitting next to somebody in class who had cut her hair. And I thought it was the freshest, coolest thing I'd ever seen. Mm -hmm. I asked her who cut it, and I said, I'm gonna do that. And I did that, and the guy came to my house, cut off all my hair, and it's morphed since then, but it's really been that way the whole time. Like, it just morphs around. Like, I like, like lately we've been doing this punk thing yeah. where I get it like, you know, this, which I love. Yeah. It's a fun hairdo and it's easy and it's morphed many times, but that's the first story. I love that. I don't think I've ever heard that story. No, one, I haven't told that story ever. You're the first. Okay, cheers. cheers. Happy Valentine's Happy Day. Happy Valentine's Day to you.